There's our uncle. He's the one that saved his life. It wasn't a relationship that David Pass and his brother TJ always had. My brother used to be somebody that that I didn't know. And now he's my best friend. When TJ was 15, he turned to drugs. Within two weeks, I was arrested. I tried cocaine, acid, um, alcohol, and had a, uh, had a uh, possession with intent to distribute charge. TJ says it just progressed after that. His mom and stepdad were addicts. The past brothers lost their mother to domestic violence as teens, and their dad didn't know about substance use disorder, so they continuously moved for a fresh start. Each time I moved was with the idea if I could just start over, I would be okay. Eight cities, four different high schools, four different colleges. Just to start over. If I could start over, I would not do drugs anymore. His dad let TJ, a chemically dependent person, become part of his recovery plan, which did not work. TJ fell into the same patterns no matter where they were. I didn't have a problem. Um, I had a solution that was killing everything around us. The problem was I couldn't not use drugs no matter how hard I personally tried. But the truth is my, I had a place to sleep, I had a car, I had food. I had all everything taken care of me because people who love me won't, would not let me suffer those natural consequences. TJ says he manipulated his family into a system that allowed him to drink and use drugs. At age 25, he overdosed with 11 different narcotics in his system. From 25 to 28, okay. for three years, I tried to get sober on my own. It wasn't until he was 28 when he got sober because he got outside help. By that time, their father had died. David and other family members cut TJ out of their lives. For those 14 years, what was addiction for you? It was chasing a never ending thirst. It was not understanding that I was addicted until it was way too late. In 2007, TJ founded Eagles Bridge Intervention Team to bridge the gap from treatment to long-term recovery and help break the cycle. TJ realized he became sober when getting out of treatment because when he came home, his family changed their attitude and outlook toward him. And had my brother and my uncle not really understood that through the education they got through, through our, the family program they did, if they hadn't have got that, when I got home, I would have drank again. I would have smoked crack again because I'd already done it for four years over and over. Their story mirrors the 300 families they have had interventions with. We get people to go to treatment and then after we get them to go to treatment, we spend the rest of the time with the family and we teach them how to deal with an addict in their family. The idea is we wrap the, our arms around the family and we educate the tribe so that when the addict comes back and they start trying to do their old new routines, everybody is aware, they're prepared, they see the, the behavior, they call it out, they get the counselor on the phone, and we, 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 we get rid of all the secrets. Using their experiences to educate families.